Oh my goodness, doing a YouTube video. Oh boy. I got a new camera. You're looking at it right now. You're looking at me through it right now. Uh, this is the Sony FS5 Mark II. I also got the Atomos recorder. Um, it's a, uh, I'm not using it right now. Right now I'm using my small HD. It's just a lot. I'm not using ProRes. I'm not using anything special, HDR or nothing. So um, right now it's just the, the standard small HD monitor. So I can see myself. Hey bud. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about this camera specifically because I can do everything with it that I've been wanting to do. Commercial type stuff, um, weddings, just my own videography. I really thought this would be a good camera to go with. I went with a RED originally. I actually went through the whole process of getting it. Uh, I was gonna get the RED Raven or the Scarlet W and I was super pumped about it. I was like dead set on that's the only camera I can get. Like that's what I want, I'm not gonna get anything different. And then I started, it started to set in. I started to realize that, holy shit, this is a $15,000 to $25,000 investment. And uh, for a startup, for a new company, for someone who is just kind of making their way into this head first, um, I thought that'd be a big expense to kind of take on right off the top. So in the future, maybe we'll, we'll go down the ro road of red. Um, the commercial type stuff is, I mean, stuff that I want to do could potentially you know, use that type of a camera. But let me tell you about this FS5. Um, I can shoot 4K. I can shoot 4K 60 with an external recorder. I can also do 2K, 240 frames per second. That's like insane to me, like how good that is slow motion wise. That's, that's so cool um, to be able to get that slow motion. Um, pardon that, that was kind of stupid, but I'll just let it, let it slide. You should too. Hopefully you don't unsubscribe from that one. That'd be bad. Uh, but no, I'm pumped on it. And I'm able to use all my own Sony, Sony glass. So I already, as you well know, I already have um, a Sony lens lineup. I've got the 16 to 35, 24 to 70 G Master, uh, 70 to 200 F4. I recently got the 85 millimeter F1.4 G Master and I sold it already. Um, the thing was badass. It had great bokeh. Um, it was an amazing lens all around. The autofocus sucked. It was super noisy. So that kind of ruined it right there for me. Like when it was autofocusing, it had like this grinding gear sound. And I, I read it up on, I read up online if that was normal or not. And it turns out everybody's does that. So I was like, yeah, I just can't have that. Um, it's more of a portrait lens, which is great. I do a lot of photography too. I think it's a great lens for that, but I think that I can utilize, um, like if I was to go out and buy like a 70 to 200 G Master F 2.8, that might benefit me more than the, than the 85 would. So that might be down the road here in the near future, might end up going down that G Master range. But yeah, I mean, to be able to use my own lenses I already have on this camera and not have to buy new Sony or new Canon glass or, you know, new um, Sigma glass or something like that for the red would have been even a bigger expense. So that's like a huge positive for it. Um, the Kodak is good. I can still shoot S-Log2, S-Log3. And the new Sony Venice colors that have um, come out with this camera, I think they look really good. Just standard straight up out of the camera, no, no color profile, uh, looks really good. Um, autofocus, I haven't had too much success with that yet. I haven't really played with it, to be honest with you. It's, uh, sound quality, yeah, you're listening to it. So it, it's pretty good. I usually like to use an external recorder, but with this one, I'm able to have it as like an entire unit itself, which I think is super beneficial. Um, I personally love that part of it. I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's been a really solid camera so far. I've done two shoots with it, um, and both of them have been successful. I've been using ProRes RAW a little bit, not much. I think that it's, uh, it's, it's almost there, but it's not quite what I really want it. Maybe when Adobe gets a hold of it, uh, it might be a little bit better. I'm not, I'm not a huge Final Cut. I started out with Final Cut Pro, um, and I think Final Cut's a great software, and I think it does a great job. But being able to utilize Premiere Pro with uh, After Effects and so on and so forth, that's such a better ecosystem, I think. Personally, now I, I know a lot of people edit in Final Cut and it does a great job. Again, I'm not bashing on it. I just like the availability to, 
everything's like just easier to get to and stuff in Adobe personally, again. Um, I really wanna share what this camera looks like in 240 frames per second since I'm such a slow-mo nerd. Uh, and I'm gonna go over to the orchard next to my house and do some uh, slow-mo of some trees and bushes and just lame, stupid stuff. But I think it'll look pretty cool when it's all put into like a, a montage. So I'm excited about that. Um, this is way past that Peter McKinnon challenge, but maybe it'll be like my Peter McKinnon B-roll challenge with my FS5. I'm pumped on it. I think that I'm just pumped on my future and, and what's actually transpiring right now in the filmmaking world for me. You know, I, I wanna really, I really wanna take a shot at this daily vlogging thing. Um, I, mean, I have a hard time coming up with content, but I think that that's okay. I think that I don't necessarily need to come up with content. I think mainly I can just be, I wanna document. I wanna document for, for my kids or, you know, I don't have kids yet, but for my future kids. I wanna document for my friends and family. You know, what if I passed away someday? They're able to really look back on my life through this YouTube channel. Um, and see what I've done and what I've created and, and how I've done that progress through this time. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna I wanna, really wanna share everything, you know, the deep, dark, bad and the good and like depressing and, and happiness. And I also wanna make little short films, like I have one in my mind right now about um, negativity and positivity and the battle between the two of them. I think that could turn out to be pretty cool. Uh, I also wanna do a homeless documentary I don't know why I'm so fascinated with like the homeless ecosystem and how they operate and how they and why they choose where they live and how they survive. I think that'd be a really cool documentary to do. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with both of those. But I think that uh, if I just go day to day and, and do this, I mean, I'm making money doing it, which is good. Um, does it pay the bills? Yes, it does. Can it, can I, do I have the ability, do I have the ability to grow with it? I believe so. Um, I just think that this is, was an all around good decision on my part to really hone in on what I wanted to do in life and then go after it and do it. And I think that everybody should do that. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop this ranting and talking. This is probably gonna be a 10 minute video by the time it's all done. And I'm gonna just show you some B-roll out of this camera because I'm, I'm super pumped on this total package and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's all said and done. So um, without further ado, here is B-roll out of the FS5 Mark II S-Log2 at 240 frames per second. Yeah. Thank you guys. We'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. You're far away now. Boom.